So, what's happening, family? Right now, I'm in Dick's uh, Sporting Goods. And the reason I'm here is because, as y'all know, I think we told y'all, we take we surprising the boys on a camping trip uh, today. Today is Sunday. And we're going to be there Sunday, Monday, and we come back on Tuesday. Uh, but I came here to get some last-minute camping supplies. This is Angel's idea, which is great. The boys need this. I'm sure they'll have fun. I didn't want to go. I still don't want to go. Uh, but <laughs> they're going camping, and I'm like, that's a good family experience. Anyway, here to get, like, me and Marcus need a sleeping bag. And any other last-minute stuff that I don't think I might have. Because, you know, camping just ain't my thing. I'll go... If I gotta be out in the elements, it's gonna be because I have to be, not because I'm just doing it to sleep outside. But anyway, it should be fun. Here to get me and Marcus a sleeping bag. I need to get a backpack big enough to carry all the little miscellaneous items and crap that we packing up. And uh, on top of that, I don't think anybody else that's going has ever been camping before. And they were relieved when they found out I was going. And I'm like, I don't know if it's, I think that's a horrible thing, but anyway. Uh, this is where I'm at. I need uh, sleeping bags and there's some backpacks right there. So anyway, just doing this, I'll let y'all know what I get, fam. That chick angel, that chick angel, angel, that chick angel, angel. A boss, a wife, a boy, my me. Yo, she's comedy. Come get your life. All right, y'all, so I'm just gonna show y'all the little stuff that I just got just now at Dick's. Um, sleeping bag, that one's for me, of course. Six five length. I got Marcus a sleeping bag. His is a six one length. Um, I got me a queen size air mattress, cause I mean, what I look like sleeping out there on the ground. And I got Marcus's uh, sleeping mat. Um, and story is, is some of us may be in a cabin, some of us may be in a tent, which I got earlier this week. That's in the garage, but I'll show all, all that stuff to y'all later. Uh, oh, what else I get? I got me a, another chair. Another chair. Uh, I got a chair in the garage, but I like a big, you know, like a camping chair or a picnic chair. I like a big chair, something I can relax in. And uh, I don't know the type of environment we're going in, so I got a bunch of survival stuff and uh, some more rope. I don't know what we're going to be faced against. And of course, some repel uh, keep the mosquitoes off anyway because the kids don't know um, I'm not of course we're not revealing any of this to them as of yet because uh, we got every the rest of the stuff in the garage is still in boxes and everything uh, we got like hiking boots and everything for everybody hats but we'll show all this stuff to y'all a little bit in a little bit uh, let me get in here and finish getting ready I need to take a shower no. What did you get to? I thought they said you were a mama. Huh? I thought they said you were a mama. No, I said <laughs> the family knows. Oh. Okay, here we go. Amara, calm down. All right, boys, listen up. We got some good news. We got some bad news. What? What are people wanting? You want the bad news first? That sounds good. Bad news. Y'all can't have y'all electronics for the next three days. Cause no phones, nothing. Oh, there isn't any. That's just uh, I thought I'd say that, Mickey. No, the good news is we're getting ready to leave in the next fifteen minutes to go camping. So I need y'all to grab shorts, sweatpants, hoodies. We're packing up bikes. We're going fishing. We got a tent. We're leaving. Let's do it. Are you are you not happy, Sai? You're like, why? That's all right. We're going to leave you in the woods. No. All right. Hurry up, guys. Let's get it. Amar, Marcus, he's in. You, you're not understanding. He's about to be in the street. He's in the street. Go to where he is and get him.
So, the Tanksleys are camping for the first time. My husband bought a six person tent that he is slow, slowly putting together and solely putting together. Huh? That was the easiest way to tell Cecily how to get here. Y'all had a computer. Tell her to look for Loop C on the sign because the man don't say that. And then just drive back until she see us. Once she gets to Loop C. Loop C is on the left hand side, right? Loop C is on left. The sign will be on the right, but the turn will be on the left. <laughs> did he do a slow fall like you? <laughs> you falling like your brother did? <laughs> he purposefully fell the way little Marcus fell. Uh, could you use my assistance? You said no? Okay. To unpack. She got people, sir. Oh, she went to the Yeah, she's the one bringing us ice. Okay, I'm gonna let them have a time lapse of you putting this together. So I keep hitting rocks over here. These damn things keep hitting me. When you oh the steak. So Marcus has one more. Oh. How he's able to figure this out is blowing my mind. I know it. It's a we gorgeous view. This at the, other, the last place. This is a gorgeous view. Y'all gonna enjoy waking up to it. Okay. <laughs> so what's good, fam? I uh, came down here quite a bit of ways away from the uh, campsite. Look at this. This is beautiful right here. This ain't no. This is like shoreline, but that ain't no beach down there. That's like ocean <laughs> like ship that's where you pull your ships and your boat up that ain't no let's go out and put on some swim trunks and run out into the water that's a cliff right there anyway that's this is nice the fact that you can hear this all night the road is over there somewhere um i was in the middle of putting up the rest of the tent and i was like let me go check this out before it gets too dark because there is no lights out here other than that that y'all know if you can tell, but that's extremely clear and beautiful too. The moon it looks like it's you watching it on like an 8K TV or something. Like more detail than what you used to see. And hold on, my bad job. Okay, so I didn't give you a tour of the yurt when we first got here, but I'm gonna show you the yurt now. It's gonna be a quick tour. Okay, I'm and our stuff is on the bed. Me and Amara are the only ones sleeping in here. Here is the yurt. That's it. 
Okay, let's put on pajamas. You ready? He's so sleepy. Oh, y'all see the time. It's almost midnight. These birds are loud. So let's see how this goes. As long as they stay outside, I'm cool. What? What's in there? Oh, it's gonna be warm. Don't be pants. Oh, they do look like pants <laughs> because it's denim. He's like, this is pants. Yeah. Don't be pants. That's crazy. Don't be pants. He's so funny. All right, let me get him and I. I'm glad there's electricity. Let me get him and I undressed and in our pajamas and in the bed. Okay, fam, so night number one, uh, the boys had a blast. They ran, they played, they rode bikes, played with the other kids. This is the tent, this is the inside. This is uh, where I'm sleeping at. That's all of them. Of course, they opted to sleep in the tent with me um, instead of going to the cabin with their mom. But this is a, this tent's roomy. Right, this is a queen size mattress, air mattress that I'm laying on. And they, I asked them if they wanted to sleep on the mattress. It was like, nah, so they got their, uh, they all have their own mat to sleep on under their sleeping blankets. But yeah, there they are. Spaced out with all the some of our stuff is there. Some of our stuff is over here. The other stuff is outside. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice breezy night. You can hear the ocean and all that crap. Anyway, I'm about to get sleep because I am exhausted. It's been a tiring day. Uh, yeah, they knocked out. Anyway, fam, I'll let y'all in the morning. Good morning, fam. So dark, cause it's all automatic. Yeah. Anyway, good morning. Uh, just woke up. Well, I've been up for a while. I didn't sleep very good, as I, in as expected. Anyway, I came out. So me and Angel decided to pack up all the food that didn't go in the cooler, which is right here, in the uh, truck last night. And she drove back to the um, to her yurt that she got. Anyway, we forgot to pack up the marshmallows. And looks like wildlife. Had a, had a good time. This pack wasn't open yet. We didn't open any of this, but they got to the marshmallows. Couple of Hershey, a uh, couple of the Hershey packs, but that's it. They didn't get to the graham crackers, just the marshmallow, the whole pack of marshmallows and a few of the Hershey things. Yeah, had a good time. I said, why not? Look, look, this box was not open. This was on the ground. And they said, hey, let me get some of your morsels. And they got some of the morsels. So, of course, we got up this morning and ants was all over it. Uh, but it definitely got torn open by something. And there's holes on the garbage bag that was not there last night either. Could have been birds. I don't know. Look at that. That hole wasn't there. Where's the other one at? I don't know, there's another hole on the bag somewhere. Anyway, this is their backyard. We just staying here for the day and a half. Holla back at y'all. <laughs> Good morning. I look a mess. I'm on my way to get my husband and kids. They're gonna come over here and shower. Um, but now I can show you all with this uh, what this place looks like. Okay, here we go. There's a bunch of cabins. A bunch of cabins that way as well. I'm in that little circular building right there, the yurt. Um, but you're super cute. That's a bigger cabin. Right there, they probably sleep six people. Oh my goodness. So 
yeah, that's that's me, that little circular dome. That's a little ventilation. Luckily, nothing flew in there to join us last night. It looks like a little, um, like a little settlement. See, those are a bunch of yurts right there. And this is where I will park tonight. Now that I have a better, like, understanding. This is the. That's when you don't want. If you got this, your parking is right here. <laughs> one, you've won. Now I do need to find out where the showers are. That's what I don't know. singular road down there people who the offices are. So I am cooking some just eggs, some plant-based eggs, because Marcus and I are vegan this month. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Little Marcus, show them, show him cleaning the bowls for the cereal for the boy. Also, look at that big secret. So I, okay, no one really cares about the big secret. Four hundred and eighty. That you sus. This has four hundred and eighty. <laughs> no, the, the bowls. bowls. And he's so, it's like he's folding. These so thought, look like so. these. Look oh yeah, they're bendable. Let me show you. Well, I mean, bend. Yeah, you can fold them. Mommy, I got fold. Fold them. They look like a boomerang. You you fold them all the way. No, they look. It's very like cool. Now let's get back to the eggs. Look at those eggs. Looks so good. I I bet I can watch this all day. Hold it. Hold, hold it. Are you? Oh, okay, good. I thought um, I was eating a frozen vegetable. <laughs> but that was just from yesterday, so he was waiting until yesterday. Oh, zipping up that back zipper. Yeah, but legs got a little Lapping. dirty. <laughs> but. But here's all that. There, but there's eggs that are already done. Yeah. That we could show you. Look at the. Look at that. The, I better could eat that. Mostly that's it. What? Uh. And um. Marcus, you're recording yourself. Oh yeah, I know. Uh, also, look. 
There's a groundhog over there. I'll show you guys in a second. There's a squirrel also too. That's a groundhog. Right there. And I'm, hey, Kai, 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 stop, stop, stop. Kai, now that, I can't, Kai, let me focus on the groundhog because this is super zoomed in, very, very little movement will move the camera a lot. Over there. Yeah. Anyways, Kai, what did you want to tell them? Is that, I want to show them the room. You having a good time? Yeah. Now don't walk nowhere with my towel. You can just dry off right here with it, okay? Uh huh. It came in right before, huh? No, it's just big as hell. But what's that little piece that's like snapped together? What is that? Yeah. Oh, okay. It came in right before I left. Is I that said, part of her collection? Uh huh. She sent me a box. I was like, oh, beach out. And she sent me a really cute swimsuit, but I uh, had already packed my bag and I was like, wow. I can't. She has a really cute swimsuit. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Sam, we back. We on the beach. This is how we can. I don't know how you can, but this is how we can. Okay. Uh -huh. Take it to daddy to open. I love it. You know what I mean? Y'all probably don't know what that means because y'all black. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Kendra hit? Did you hear her? <laughs> Amar. Amar. Um, you have a good time? You have a good time? You ain't paying me no mind. Now it's size tight, and I don't think he's gonna be allowed to fly yet. Pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Okay, three of the four three of the four boys has their kites up. Wow. How dope is that?
I know, right? You see that? Look at how gorgeous it looks. I know it. Kai, you okay? Good job, Sai. Hold on, hold on, Sai. Mama gotta get it on the phone too. Get it! Good job, boys! Good job, Amar. You ready to do yours? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. So what's good fam? We back at the campsite. There's a uh, sign guy and Amar over there playing. Um, I don't know where Marcus is. Marcus been living his best life. I don't know where he went. Grab that chair over there. It's blowing away. On the other side of the, the, the car, babe. The other side of the car. Anyway, uh, it's been a long, t long, tiring day for me. I started off the day. Well, we went to the yurt or whatever. Y'all think y'all saw that with Angel? We had breakfast and everything this morning. And then uh, I was gonna wanted to take the boys bike riding on some trails and stuff, but Kai's bike had a loose part and needed an Allen wrench. Allen wrenches are the one thing, one tools, one piece of tool that I didn't bring on this trip. Of course, that's the one I need. So I rode my bike down to the uh, front check-in post because they said everybody's been saying, oh, they usually keep tools down there, which it ain't far by any means, but it also ain't close either because it's a bunch of hills. Um, so I rode my bike down there. They didn't have no tools. They said the shop may have some. And if they, the shop don't have any, if you see anybody, the guys riding around in the white pickup trucks, those are maintenance guys. They probably got uh, some tools and they definitely have some Allen wrenches. I'm like, cool. So I'm already tired, but I'm like, all right, whatever. I'll just drive right to the shop just to see. Went to the shop, nothing. Rode all the way back up here. Then I went over to another, uh, some people, I don't know if you can see them, off in the distance over there. And I saw they had a bunch of uh, like electric bikes. They had a bunch of mountain bikes. I'm like, they gotta have some Allen wrenches, all of that biking equipment they got. So ended up walking up there, and uh, he had some Allen wrenches. Luckily, but his his was standard. They weren't metric, and that's the one I need. So I took that back, and about 10 minutes later, 10 15 minutes later, he actually had some. He's like, oh, I have two of my bikes are metric. He said, here's some. You should be in this tool bag. So luckily. That worked out, but the bad the bad part about that is I had just done all that riding around and I still had to go riding with the boys. So <laughs> you know going riding with them, we rode down to the beach. Um, and then it ended up being the same beach that we went to. We just got back from where everybody, the whole campsite in this area, everybody went to the beach and we flew kites. It was a good time and the wind got really strong down there, so everybody slowly started picking up and leaving. So now we're back. It's, uh, what time is it? Oh, it's four, okay. We've been going since about six o'clock this morning, so it's time to relax. Anyway, I'll holler back at y'all.
it back. Hold on, let me see if I get myself in the same type of lighting as Marcus. Nope, there we go. It's a little better. We're headed back to Los Angeles. So, where we were is Santa Barbara, which is like two hours north of LA. And apparently they have a lot of camping grounds, state beach, like parks or whatever. Um, but we both have a lot of stuff to do today. He has a meeting with his project manager. I have two auditions plus a late brand deal to get in. So we're just on the road. The boys are asleep. I don't even know if y'all can see him. Size in the back. Okay. Babe, what is your favorite part of the trip? Uh, we're riding bikes in the morning. That's, that's one of your favorite activities, it seems like, to do with them, regardless. Um, my favorite thing about the trip was. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, let me show y'all this again. First of all, this town is super cute. These uh, beachfront properties. I wonder, is this the town that has that little island? Ooh. I'm gonna answer the question here soon. I got some inter interesting architecture over there. Sorry, couldn't show you all of it. Okay. And I know this will be a memory. Maybe Amar won't have it. 
that the rest of these boys will have in their minds for the rest of their life, period. Makes me so happy. Shake.